The Excel file and the PowerPoint slides used for this lecture are available on my homepage under the CSC 2111 link, and they're also available on Carmen and Canvas, which is the learning management system used by OSU. Please follow along with the PowerPoint slides as I talk about each subject. Let's take a look at some common Excel errors. In cell C2, we see a triangle at the top left of the cell. We also see an exclamation point. When you see a green triangle, it's Excel trying to tell you that there may be an error in your value or in your function. Let's click the arrow, and then you see the various options. Our error message says number stored as text. We can convert it to a number, we can ignore the error, or we can do anything else on this list. In this case, I want to convert it to a number because if I use it for any calculations, I may get the incorrect answer. Now because this range is contiguous, I can highlight the whole thing and it's contiguous in that the green triangles are everywhere in these cells. I can click here and I can clear it all at once or I can convert it to number all at once. In cell E5 I see pound signs. When you see pound signs it means the cell is not wide enough. How do I make it wide? I can double click between E and F that's an auto fit. Let's go to column B between B and C. I can just drag it to make it wider. If you look in cells A2 to A5, you see numeric values. All of the values are formatted to display five decimal places. In cell B6, I'm using the average function to average these cells. However, the answer should not be 40,000.43. Notice that I have formatted this cell with two decimal places. In cell E6, I'm doing the same function, the average function, with the same values, but now I get the answer 40,000.42750. That is the correct answer. Now, this 40,000.43 displays in your spreadsheet as that number, but actually the value in that spread or the value in that cell is 40,000.42750. So if you would use any calculations with that cell in B6, you would think that you would have some kind of error. There is a difference between formatting in Excel and precision in Excel. I can format a number any number of digits I want, but to actually have the value that I want in the spreadsheet, I need to use the round function. So if I really wanted to round this to two decimal places, then I would use the round function. In this instance, in cell B4 and B5, we're calculating the average and the minimum. So the average of cells B2 to B3 and the minimum of cells B2 to B3. If you noted the, notice the values in here, we get the correct answers. However, if we use these numbers here and we put a blank in cell E3 instead of a value, the average is now 25 and the minimum is 25. What I want you to see is when you create using a function, if the cell is blank, it does not take that cell into account when it is creating or giving you the values, the answers. Let's say we want to insert a row in these calculations. If you notice cell B2 through B4, they have numeric values, and we're summing the contents of B2 to B4. Here we have the values, the same values, but now we are adding the contents. And actually I want to put 
E3 here. Because we want to sum all those values. So we're summing E2, E3, and E4. We're doing the same here with the, we're doing, well, we're doing a sum here um, with the same values. And if you notice, we get the correct answer in both of these. But if I insert a row here, I'm inputting the same values. Now I get the incorrect answer in cell E6. Why does that happen? Well, if you're using the sum function, if you insert a row or delete a row, the function argument is changed accordingly. But if you're just typing E2 plus E3 plus E4, when we add that row, it does not add that row in the calculation. So you want to use functions as much as possible.